Hey guys, it's Jamie from Best Nerd Life. Now let's be honest, the Nintendo Wii was a fantastic console. Now it had some issues, it had some up and down, but overall it brought so many regular people into the world of gaming. One of the main reasons why the Nintendo Wii was so popular and so easy for people to get into was the Wii Remote. <laughs> now I've got a black version here, but it came in white and some other crazy colors and designs. But this thing was a very simple thing for people to get into. Now unfortunately the time of the Nintendo Wii has passed. Luckily we have the Switch to replace it. Let's not talk about the Wii. But yeah, we have the Switch now to enjoy to our heart's content. But what if I want to play with the Wii Remote on my Nintendo Switch? Is that even possible? Can I do that? And I will tell you now, spoilers, Yes, I can. Thanks to this thing, the 8-bit dual USB wireless adapter. As I said before, the Wii Remote can be used with your Nintendo Switch, but unfortunately, some of the functionality is not going to be there. So without further ado, let's get this thing plugged in. So yeah, it's pretty simple to get your Wii Remote to connect to your Nintendo Switch. All you have to do is connect your 8-bit do into the side of the console, like so. And it should start flashing right there. Now what you have to do is press the button below the flashing light and it should start flashing. Nope, didn't do that. Down there we go. It will start flashing faster and then with your remote turn it over, hit that button and then it should, there we go, be connected. Now let's see if this actually works because it can be a little bit of a pain. Yep, it works. <laughs> so what I can compare this to is a Joy-Con on its side. That's what you've kind of got to keep in mind. To be honest, it is a little bit confusing, the button layout. Uh, right and left work, up and down work, as you would expect. Um, the A button works as the A button. Um, the B button is the trigger. And then I can't remember which one, but X and Y. Uh, the home button works, plus and minus works, as you would think. Um, and obviously the power button turns the thing off. One thing you can do to make this controller easier to use is the button remapping uh, function that was introduced to the Nintendo Switch quite recently. At least the, at the time of this video uh, was filmed. All you have to do is go to System Settings, hit the A button, scroll down to controller and sensors, hit that, change button mapping like so. It registers as a pro controller. I'm not sure why, um, I assume it's the only thing other than the Joy-Con it can think of to register it as. A lot of these buttons you cannot use, for example, ZL, ZR, L and R, you know, you, you get the idea. Um, but one thing you can do is make these two buttons mapped as if they're A and B. Um, so all you have to do is, if I can figure this out, let's try this. That one will be the A button, and then that one will be the B button. Then you just get it done, hit done, click OK, and now one of these two will be the A button. Okay, yeah, so one is A and two is B. So yeah, um, this thing does have limited functionality. Um, don't expect to be playing Legend of Zelda on it. So yeah, um, Mario Kart works, but because you don't have the triggers, then <laughs> you might not be able to use the um, power-ups or drift. So potentially you might be able to map the buttons. Um, <laughs> yeah, this thing has very limited qualities, limited uh, capabilities, but still. Another thing as well that is interesting, let's just uh, close that for the time being. You can't actually use um, the nunchuck. So if I press, if I plug in the nunchuck, like that, then it freaks out entirely um, for whatever reason. 
so. So it's just doing that. Um, it's absolutely freaking out. <laughs> Which is worrying. Let's uh, unplug that. So yeah, now it's gone back to normal and you can use it as such. I also tried to connect this thing and this is the retro bit controller that kind of looks like a, an old fashioned, I think it's NES or SNES controller, I can't remember which, but very retro, pretty cool. And this thing plugs into the bottom of the Wii remote so you can use it on the Nintendo Wii. I tried plugging it in to see if it could play stuff on the Wii, but as you can see, uh, I plugged it in, it's uh, turned off the controller and gone to the sleep mode screen for whatever reason. And yeah, so if you pull it out, then you have to reconnect the Wii controller. So connecting your Wii is an interesting thing to do. I can't say how much use it's going to be to you, um, but if you want to do it, then <laughs> by all means. So yeah, guys, that was my video about connecting your Wii remote to a Nintendo Switch. Um, <laughs> technology, eh? It's fantastic. Um, if you did enjoy this video, then by all means like, comment, subscribe, and you know, share with your friends and all that kind of stuff. Because if this video does well, I do want to do more videos about connecting other controllers to the consoles. I just love the kind of cross-compatibility thing uh, that the 8-bit do provides. So yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching, and uh, you know, continue to live that best nerd life. <laughs>